What's up you guys? This is Adam Gillespie with Rancid and Sweaty Cabs coming at you with yet another video. And in this one I'll be covering uh, some of the stuff going on with Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. As we all know, Amazon has been nothing but a floundering fish desperate for water to come its way as it's stranded upon a beach because Amazon's Rings of Power show has been nothing but disrespectful to Tolkien's lore. And the fans have made sure to instill that knowledge into the creators of this show. However, they've decided they're going to stick their head in the sand and say it doesn't matter. Now because of that, there have been massive massive ratios of dislikes to likes comparatively. Fans from all over the world who actually care about the stories that Tolkien wrote are sticking up and defending the lore that was written and devised by Tolkien and saying to Amazon, this is not Lord of the Rings, and I couldn't agree more. Now, if you check out the uh, critic score, it's of course at an 84%, and that's because the majority of these critics have been paid off to actually keep this at a high quality rating, whereas if you look at the audience score, there's over 12,000 different people who have reviewed this show, and it's sitting at 36%. Now, if you haven't seen this video yet, I would highly recommend you go watch As from Heel vs. Babyface's video coverage of him actually looking at this same graph that I'm showing you. He looked at this and it went from 47 to 45 percent, but it also lost a certain amount of people in between different viewings, in between different ratings. So uh, Rotten Tomatoes has actually been kowtowing to Amazon so that they can hide the scores on Rotten Tomatoes just like Amazon's doing as well. Yes, I'll be covering the fact that Amazon is also hiding reviewing from uh, fans and from viewers and from people who are just wanting to leave reviews because Amazon claims that there are review bombers just because there's been nothing but backlash, mainly because Amazon has done nothing but disrespect for Tolkien's lore. So let's go down and we'll actually just view a couple of these different reviews from these guys. So here we have this one. Yeah, the first one is in Spanish, so I can't really read it. And the second one is, I really do not understand all the horrible reviews. Second episode was definitely better than the first, but nonetheless, neither were as bad as people, blah, 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 blah. Base, I, I, I'm, I'm inclined to believe that this person just watched the movies and doesn't know anything about the actual books. Because if you did know anything about the actual books, you know this was a complete de uh, desecration of Tolkien's lore. Um, unbelievable that it could be so terrible, so much money spent, and they can't hire proper writers or actors. Galadriel's a joke, the characterization, the actress, every single aspect. Well, as, as I must say that for the kind of property and lore, this is not so bombastic. First two episodes, nothing special, slow, first episode, almost boring. I, I'm not going to read that one, that's just hard to actually understand. Here's a one-star review. Simply not Tolkien. And if you take away Tolkien's writing from Middle Earth, you simply have a soulless product. I couldn't agree more with Donato L. <clears throat> bad writing. Complete disrespect of Tolkien, thinking they can turn it into their lore, and even the scenes are bad. There's more to that, but I don't want to have to click on this and, and review each and every single one, depending on how long this is. Nothing to do with the world of Tolkien. Complete bastardization of Tolkien's background and lore in general. Some good CGI, but a very bland storyline. If you enjoy seeing your favorite franchises receive the modern treatment that nobody actually wants, this is the show for you. Everything in this show is bad. The casting, the acting, the script, the only thing I liked was nature. Brilliant opening to a series. First two episodes were great. The shot of the Middle Earth where the Lord of the Rings, ten times few bits out of place due to condescending the story. I don't know what this person is trying to say. That was a complete garbled mess. But you get the gist. The majority of people really, really hate this show because it's a complete des desecration and a complete mockery of what Tolkien actually created. And Amazon has been hiding and running away from this as much as they possibly can, and they have failed miserably to hide the fan backlash. And now they're feeling so bad on the release of their show that they've decided to take away the ability for users to review the very show they're claiming is inherently good. They are now taking away the ability for actual fans to leave their thoughts and opinions on this garbage show. And yes, I've seen it. I'm going to do an episode by episode review of it. It's going to take a while though. So stick with me. I'll get this content out to you as soon as possible. And that's really going to do it for this video. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the description below. Not in the description, the comment section below. Make sure to leave a like. 
Comment down below your thoughts, as I've already said. Subscribe, hit that bell notification icon so you'll be alerted to every single video that I upload. And follow me over on Rumble and Patreon. You can find the links to those in my description box below. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day and a great rest of the week.